How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I wanted to uh, loop back with you and let you know that we have... Um... That's a bummer. All right, it is now the third video, and we're going to be trying to be, um, well, whatever. A, uh, ISTP. Hmm. I'm really enjoying these. So the cognitive function stack for an ISTP is, uh, introverted thinking, extroverted sensing, introverted intuition, and extroverted feeling. So we do share the same, um, in, uh, dominant function. And the rest, it, well, and I guess even extroverted feeling as the uh, the least function of us. Um, and we'll see how it goes. So the you regularly make new friends. So an ISTP, I'm gonna say probably no. Um, you spend a lot of time, uh, fr your free time, various random topics that pique your interest. I think they would be more inclined to interested in exploring topics we'll see um you, when you see other people cry makes you want to cry too i think nope um you often have a backup plan for a backup plan i think yes i think they do i think they're very inclined to just kind of especially with their extroverted sensing having a plan to be able to kind of move forward about certain things uh, let's see here so you usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure i think they probably are at a social event you rarely introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the people you know i think that's probably correct um you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another Ooh, i think they would I think they would would they I don't know how open ended an ISTP is I mean, they they seem to be actually a lot more <laughs> um more of a brick wall like a a, a quiet brick wall <laughs> um I think they would want to come complete something uh you are very sentimental <sighs> I guess I'm not entirely sure the sentimental um, influence of introverted uh, sensing versus extroverted sensing. I think I'm going to say no. I think they're a little bit more f of a functional mindset or not that sentimental people can't be f like more practical. But I think they're, well, I'll say no. Um, you like to use organizational tools, like a schedule list. I think they do, maybe. We'll see. I, like, I only know one, and maybe a sec, what, second person from kind of a distance away. So, uh, we'll see. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, especially if their loop is T-I-N-I. I think they're constantly refining and constantly guessing, and I think they might might have that. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. You feel comfortable just waking or walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I'm going to say disagree. Um, you are too interested in discussing, or you're not too interested in discussing various interpretations. And uh, Yeah, I think they're not. I think they're a little bit more... Well... No, I th you're not too interested. Maybe they would be more so. Yeah, let's do that. Um, you are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. I will say agree. Um, you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily routine. I think they like structure a little bit more. Um, even being a perceptive type, you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Hmm. I think rarely worry, worry. I think they might be kind of self-conscious in that way. You enjoy participating in group activities. Probably not. Um, you like books and movies that you can come up with your own interpretation at the end. Uh, um, 
I think they might be more inclined to do so. And I want to try to use the extremes if I can. Your happiness comes from, or comes more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments. I think that's a no ghost rider. Um, you are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. Do they have a wide variety of interests? <sighs> I'm just going to say no, because introverted intuition refines and extrovert is sensing like it might be interesting. Is that kind of, I think that's more of just kind of the practical world. You're more engaged with things and inspired by things. And then your introverted intuition kind of funnels down all the <laughs> things that you experience. I'm still trying to figure out how all that works. Um, you are interested in so many different things. I'm going to disagree. Um, you are prone to worry that things will take a turn for the worst. I actually think they are a little bit of worry warts. Yeah, especially T-I-N-I -I loop. You're constantly... Because it reminds me of an INFJ because it's the other way around. They are N-I-T-I -I looping. Um... And what was it? Uh, worry that things will take a turn for the worse. So I think they're kind of catastrophizing the possibilities and they're constantly refining and then there's new possibilities and they just kind of... <laughs> so I think probably you avoid leadership roles in group settings. I'm going to say they probably do. Not sure why, but I'm just do that. Um, you are definitely not an artistic person. I think that the they can have an artistic quality an ISTP that I knew of she was an opera singer or is an opera singer so that's artistic even if I don't like opera and yes I said that with my out loud voice um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say disagree um, you think the world would be a better place if people have you know, rationality than on their feelings I think they probably say so you prefer to do your chores before yourself allowing yourself to relax I think I, it's so weird because like you see a thing and you're just like you're trying to decompress it or uncompress it or whatever and you're trying to understand it. It may be wrong entirely. Mm. There's a piece of me that thinks that they might feel a bit overwhelmed by what they may have to do and they just kind of put it off to the side because of feeling overwhelmed. I don't really know if that's true. That's just something that I'm feeling and I'm using the F word, feel. Um, you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax, but I think they would be more so. I think, I think they would be more so inclined to do that. But that doesn't mean they may do it or not. I don't know, you know, I don't know. Um, you enjoy watching people argue. I think they are more inclined to being curious about that. Perhaps, I, you know, I don't really know. Uh, you would tend, because I would think yes, because being TI types, just being curious about different positions and people arguing about what they um, believe and facts and stuff. So um, you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I'm going to say yes. Your mood can change very quickly. I'm going to say no. You lose patience with people that are not as efficient. I think yes. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Mm, I think they might be more so to be kind of on top of things. You have always been fascinated by the question of what if anything happens after death. Brutal. Maybe to some degree. You uh, usually prefer to be around others rather than with your own. I think probably not. I'm going to be a big disagree. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion is highly theoretical. No, I think they're curious about that. You find it easy to empathize with a person who experiences are very different. I think they probably struggle. Um, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. I think not introverted intuition i think that's kind of the part that makes me make them more i guess 
precise or uh, on top of things. You rarely second guess the choices that you have made. You rarely second guess. I think they might be more inclined to their choices, but TI is a constant refining process. But if you, man, I don't know. Rarely second guess. There was a video I said earlier where it's like, TI might, you might be more inclined to second guessing yourself. Was that a true statement? Maybe it's not TI that encourages the second guessing. I think they're gonna you rare. I think they're gonna be more so rarely second guessing themselves. Um, after a long and exhausting week, a lively social event is actually what you need. I think not. Probably not. Next, uh, you enjoy going to art museums. You know what? I think they have an odd enjoyment for art, but it's weird. <laughs> you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Let's just say, yeah, you like to have a to do list think on the more positive so yes you rarely fear and feel insecure you know I'm still trying to figure out what that means but I'm gonna say yes you avoid making phone calls I'm gonna say no you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own I think so I think they're more so inclined to do that I'm hungry I just realized this. In your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates. I'm gonna say disagree. If your plans are interrupted, priority get back onto them as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't know how inclined they are to be that stingy though, but I'm just gonna guess with that. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Um, no. You rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence meaning of life I think I think they probably don't do that as much your emotions control you more now um, you take great care not to make people look bad I think they're just gonna say some things of just how they are so you take great care to not make or make people look bad I think I'm gonna say disagree all right Oh, we, we have two more. Um, your person or two pages. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous. I'm going to say no. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it'll take for them to be disappointed. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. You would love a job that requires you to work alone. I think I'll say yes. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Um, I'm going to say no. Um, you feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmosphere. Um, hello, this is Eric. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. I wanted to uh, loop back with you and let you know that we have um, selected another candidate for the position, but I appreciate you taking the time to come in and interview with us and, and learn about the school and the program, and I wish you all the best moving forward and whatever that may be. Okay. Well, I appreciate you uh, reaching out, and um, yeah, it's been great getting to know you guys. So. All right. Well, if you need anything else, certainly don't hesitate to reach out. All right, wonderful. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. All right, thanks. You too. Bye-bye. So, I didn't get the job. That's a bummer. But the show must go on, some say, you know. Okay. You feel more drawn to a quiet or a place, quiet, bustling atmosphere. I could see that they might like the more bustling atmosphere. Um... Feel more drawn to quiet places or to places with busy atmosphere. I'm going to say yes. You know at a first glance how someone is feeling. I'm going to say no. You have to feel overwhelmed 
Um, I'm gonna say yes. You completely, or you complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. I think they are very much like that. Um, you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. Are they? I'll say yeah. You would pass along good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. I don't think they would be inclined to do that. You struggle to, or with deadlines. Um, I'm going to say no. You are confident that the things will work out for you. That the things, that things will work out for you. Um, man, I'm curious as to how that might look for them so like i guess i'm seeing that so feeling confident so extrovert is sensing you might be you're gonna be inclined to just kind of the more the practical world but because of the ti and i loop i think there will be a more inclination of questioning the outcome because you're kind of obsessing over the, the possibilities and kind of getting stuck. So I think feeling confident, I'm gonna say no. All right, <laughs> let's see how close we get. And three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> no, INTJ. Oh my goodness, that was wrong entirely. Got the I and the T right, but so an INTJ J's it is ni that is their um cognitive or prim primary function primary yes function and then te is their second one and um, fi which that's kind of interesting and then se so i guess i was totally off so uh now i am two to one so i got one right and two wrong so um hope you guys are enjoying these i'll see you guys in another video another life you never know bye that was kind of weird. Never mind. <laughs>